Okay, so good evening, everyone, or good morning to some, and welcome to my Pilates Online. Um, thank you for joining me today for this intermediate Pilates class. Um, yeah, we're going to use our cushions as a little bit of resistance and hopefully get those arms firing up a little bit. Um, as always, just make sure if there's any um, area of strain for you or old injury that you're just taking it carefully and not pushing necessarily into anything that might hurt or create any unnecessary strain. So just um, go carefully or with caution. Uh, if there's any other questions or you want to ask me about anything after class, feel free to do so. Otherwise, let's get moving. Okay, so I'll be moving the screen up and down as we go. So just bear with me hopping up and down. Okay, so as always, we're gonna begin with our roll down. So making sure you're standing at the back end of your mat. Bring your feet about hip distance apart. So peep down, they should be about a fist distance apart or so. Generally our hips are narrower than you think they are. Growing nice and tall at the crown of the head. So almost imagine someone's pulled you up all the way from your heels all the way up to the crown of your head. Take a nice deep inhale as you just shrug and roll your shoulders down to just let them rest down by your sides. Give your arms a little shake, make sure they're heavy. No tension gathering in your neck and shoulders. Take a nice deep inhale. Think of filling the lungs all the way to the back bottom bits. And exhale, begin to roll down. So drop your chin to your chest. Slowly begin to pour yourself forward. Softening your knees when you need to. And just relaxing body, head heavy all down. Bend knees as much as you need to. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale, begin to curl up. So restacking the spine, drawing your navel to your spine as you go up, lower middle upper spine, head comes up last. Inhale there, breath in through the nose. And exhale out through the mouth, rolling down. Almost imagine you peeling and rolling over something as you pour body forward, softening knees. Inhale through the nose. And exhale, draw tummy to spine, slowly roll up, let the shoulder blades just roll and relax down the back and lift the head up last. We've got two more. Inhale, really consciously as you exhale and roll down, think of stretching out the spine. So opening up all those little spaces between each vertebra as you relax heavy, don't stress if your legs aren't straight. Inhale there. And exhale, begin to roll up. Now, even though you're restacking, you still keep that space between the vertebras as you roll up. We've got one more, breath in. And exhale, rolling all the way down. And slowly begin to just hang there. Knees are as bent as they need to. Everyone bring your weight forward into your toes a bit more than your heels. Your heels should be able to lift off just a little bit without you toppling over. Give your head a little shake. Let go of that tension of the Monday. Give your head a little knot. Get those nerves moving and come find settling in the center. Take a nice deep inhale, slowly rolling up, draw tummy to spine. We roll up in five, in four, in three, in two, and last one. Grabbing your cushions. So you either grab any cushion like so, and you're gonna hold it something like so, or if you've got a little ball, you're gonna hold it between your, the palms of your hands like so. It's time to go for a cushion, but feel free to, to adjust as you need to. Apologies, my puppy is destroyed my cushion. Okay, so <laughs> bringing your feet not hip distance here, but a little bit wider. So not necessarily at your um, maximum all the way there, but probably about so. I'm gonna come down into, your, into the screen now in a sec. Roll your shoulders back, let them draw down the back and let the crown of your head draw up to the ceiling. Taking an inhale. As we exhale, you're gonna come down into a little squat. So a quick check here, your knees should be tracking over your second toe. You don't want to be sticking your bum out. You want to tuck your tail slightly in so your body is nice and level. Inhale, we're going to come back up. Cushion comes back down. Exhale, we go. Inhale, we lift. And for two. Inhale, back. And squat three. And up you come. And squat four. And return. Now check out the shoulders aren't rolling forward as you bend down, but still keep the collarbones nice and open. Return, tummy still staying absolutely tight, and return, four more. <sighs> Inhale, three more. Inhale, last two. <sighs> Inhale, last one, bend and hold. If you have any knee issues, don't maybe go as deep, find a place that is comfy for you. Keep tummy drawing to spine, take an inhale. 
As we exhale, we're gonna squeeze into our pillow slash ball. With our hands, we squeeze. Inhale. Release. For three. Breathe in. Imagine the ball cushion like your lungs. Squeeze it out with the air. Inhale, fill the lungs. Release. We've got four more. Inhale. Last three. Squeeze it up a little bit more. Can you lower an inch down? Two more. Release. Last one. Just keep that squeeze. Deepen. And then slowly release up. Bring your hands down. Inhale. We're coming down into our squat as we did before. We're now going to hinge over. Almost imagine your pillow's almost going to the floor. Bring it back up to where you were. And then squeeze yourself back up. Two exhales down, two inhales up. We go. Inhale, inhale. Shoulders stay down. Shoulders stay down. Lift and lift. For three. Check those knees. Don't let them conk in. Keep them tracking over the second toes. For four. And almost touch pillow down. Lift up and down. Four more. And lift. Inhale. Two more to go. Down. Hinge over. Back you come. Release. Last one. Hinge. Hold it there. Pull your tummy to your spine. Maybe tuck your tail a little bit in. Draw your shoulders down. Squeeze your pillow slightly. We're just going to lift the body up and down. So we go. And drop it down for two. Inhale. Shoulders down the back. Head just following the arms. Last four. Inhale. Lower back will be working here. No stress. Last two. Release. Last one. Release. Everyone lift up and hold it there. Tummy draws in. Bend your elbows slightly. We pulse into our cushion. For two with the hands. Three. Squeeze your butt. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and squeeze deep in a little bit more, and up you come. You can definitely feel some work in your lower back there. That's absolutely normal. Shouldn't feel strain, but absolutely would feel work. Okay, staying with the ball or cushion. And we're going to separate our feet a little bit wider now. So you can turn them a teeny bit out, so maybe about a 30 degree angle or so. Just take care here that your knees are still tracking over that second toe. You're not conking in like so. Okay. Taking an inhale, rolling your shoulders back, making as much length between your ears and your shoulders as you can. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to come down into a mini squat and hold it there. Take a breath in. Exhale. We're going to take our right leg one inch out to the side. Eek, move cushion. Sorry. So we're going. Bring it in. Same leg. And return. Doesn't matter which leg you're using, just use the other one next time. For three, return. For four, trying to limit the movements in the torso, just that leg is moving. And six, two more. And seven, good work. Last one, we go straight to the other side, whichever way that is. Eight, return. Stay low. Nine, and seven. Sorry, it's been a Monday for me. Five more. And return. Small step. Four. Return. Tummy pulls to spine. Two more. Last one. Release. Deepen and then squeeze and lift yourself up. Your pillow or ball is reaching up to the ceiling. Everyone soften your elbows a little bit. It will take the pressure off the shoulders. So give yourself a little bit of bend in your elbows. Taking an inhale. Exhale, leaning over to the left, finding that side stretch. Inhale, come back to center. Over to the other side, exhale. Inhale, we return center. Keeping tummy ribs all connected here so you're not arching, but keeping and moving in one straight stride. Reaching over, return. We've got four more, shoulders down. Relax those elbows, it will relax the shoulders. Three more, and return. Last two, inhale, last one, we're going to go for a full circle. Legs can stay a little bit bent if they need to, otherwise try to keep them straight. Breath in, exhale, we're going to go over to left. Continue that circle, let your cushion just brush the floor as you reach over to the other side and come back full circle. Reverse, 
we reach over to right. Coming down, let the breath, uh, push and brush the floor and return center. Not overthinking this movement, but just finding that rotation and full movement of the spine, of the hips, of the shoulders. Good. And reach and over. Brush and cushion to floor if it gets there. Return one more each way. You might get a click in your back. I did. Slowly circling and release. You've got one more. Reaching over. Circle down. Everyone stay down. So, should you need a double cushion, grab a double cushion. If you want to use your ball, go for it. So, you're going to keep your um, cushions down like so. I've just turned sideways so you can see me. Holding onto cushions here, knees can be soft should they need to be. Taking an inhale. As you exhale, let's lift the right arm and try to twist the body, reaching fingertips to ceiling. Inhale, we return. Alternating. We go. And back. Thinking of twisting where that rib cage and sternum meet, finding that rotation and ringing out in the spine as you move. Four more to go. And return. Three more. Warming up into that thoracic spine. Last two. And return. Last one. And return. Letting your head go. Knees as much as you need to. Slowly straightening your legs out slightly and then releasing. Four more like this. And release. Last three. And release. Last two. And release. Last one. Finding that moment, getting that maximum stretch. You can relax your shoulders, shake out your head for one more breath. And then slowly soften your knees, release your cushion, slash ball, and begin to roll slowly up to. Very nice. Okay, so we're going to come down onto our mat now into a little stretch to begin with. This stretch is going to be graded according to how flexible you are. So if you can use um, two cushions, go for it. If one is sufficient, go for it. If it's overwhelming, get rid of them, no worries. So you're going to walk them around um, to your back. So you're going to lie down with them sort of between your, um, all the way up between your shoulder blades and into your lower back slightly. We come in into a nice little opening stretch of the front of the chest. So you can see if I have less cushions, I have less height, it's less intense. You don't want to be hanging with your head sort of dangling at the top. So should you need something under your head, also just grab that. We're going to reach the arms out into a T position. Almost think of just splatting yourself onto your cushion. A ball will also work perfectly here. Pop it between your shoulder blades. We're going to take a nice deep inhale. I want you to think of expanding your ribcage, breathing in. And then exhale, bring your ribs together. Do not move your shoulders. Think of breathing in, expanding your rib cage. And exhale, splatting even more as you exhale, pull the ribs down as you breathe out. Three more breaths like this. Let everything relax. Inhale. Exhale. Hopefully you're feeling a really nice stretch into the pecs and the front of the chest. Two more. And release. Enjoy the moment. We won't stay here forever, I promise. Last one. And exhale. Bending one leg, bending the other leg, and separating your feet almost a mat width apart. Staying heavy in the head, staying heavy in the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, we're going to rotate our knees over to the right. Inhale, come back center. Exhale, over left. Try to keep your body heavy on your cushions. And rotate right, releasing into pelvis, into lower back, and left. Four more to go. Trying to keep your torso heavy, so it's just that lower portion of the spine rotating. Should feel really good. You've got two more to go. Rotate and return. Heavy legs to one side and rotate and release. Straighten your legs out, one and then the other, zipping them up. And interlace your hands behind your head. Let your head be heavy in your hands. So you want to support your neck. Not let your neck work too hard, but rather let the abdominals work. Draw your shoulder blades down. Let them be heavy on your cushion. And almost scoop your elbows up so you can see them in your peripheries. Breathing in through the lungs, in through the nose, into the lungs. Exhale, we lift up into our chest lift. Inhale, we lower, release all the way over cushions. Exhale, lift up for two. Inhale, we release. Now squeeze your inner thighs, do not unzip your legs. 
Lift up for three, zip them together. Inhale, we lower down. Draw up for four, flattening your tummy down. And inhale, release. Exhale up for five. And head heavy, head heavy, head heavy. It's 10 we go. And lower down. Try to keep those legs relaxed on the mat. All happening from the ribcage to the pelvis. And release. Last three. Keep squeezing knees. Keep squeezing ankles. Keep squeezing in the thighs. Lower down. Last two. And release. Last one. Lift up. Shocking. We're holding it there. Everyone press your head back into your hands. So make sure your chin's not sticking out. Nod it in. Flatten your tummy down even more. We're going for teeny weeny pulses. We go up 10. Almost imagine you're trying to lift off the cushion. Eight. Pulse up. Seven. Squeeze your inner thighs. Six. Deepen. And three. Try your first cushions. Two. And one. Hold it there. And release yourself all the way down. Bringing your soles of the feet together, letting your knees fall out, finding a nice stretch. Opening your arms out this time, if it's available to you, into a little cactus position. So you're gonna look like a little rugby post, like so. If that's too much, just pop your arms out to the side, that's absolutely fine. Just taking five deep breaths in there, really concentrating on separating and then inhaling deep into the lungs. Exhale out. Ribs separate. Ribs draw together. Three more. Make your body as heavy as you can. Feel that opening in the chest. Release. Last two. Keep the soles of your feet squeezing together. And release. Last one. Inhale. And release. Staying there with your upper body. Nod your chin in a little bit if you need to. Take an inhale. As you exhale, take your left knee over towards your right and find that little rotation in the spine. Only go so far as you can keep your shoulders and body and head relaxed and then slowly open that left knee back to where you came from. We're swapping sides. Right knee closes towards left. <sighs> Inhale, it opens up. Check that neck is relaxed. Left crosses over to right. Inhale, return. Trying to warm up into those hips, finding that nice rotation in the lower spine. And cross over left. We've got three more after this. Deep breathing. And return. Last two. And return. Last one. And return. Stay there with your legs. Interlace your hands behind your head. This is too much for the knees or the legs. You can always extend them and zip them up as we did previously. Otherwise, keep them there. Really press all 10 toes into one another. Inhale. Exhale into chest lift. We go. <sighs> Inhale, up and over. Back you go. And lift up for two. Keep your feet squeezing. Really dig your soles into one another. And for four. And release. <sighs> and lower. Exhale, tummy flattens and scoops down and release. Five more to go. Head heavy, shoulders relaxed. Inhale, last four. Keep squeezing soles of feet. Release. Last three. My counting's leaving much to be desired today. I'm sorry. Last two. And release. Last one. We lift up, hold. Flatten navel in. Really round your tummy, drop your shoulders. Little pulses, imagine someone's putting you off your cushions. We go. And two. Four, three. If you're on your ball, just try to lift off your ball one centimeter. Four. Pulse, five. Deep into ten. Six. Should feel really nice burn. And eight. And nine. And hold it there. Come a little bit up, a little bit up. And then slowly release yourself down. Straighten your legs once more. Zip them up. Lift your head quickly and peep that they're in alignment. So your heels should be in line with your pubic bone and you know you perfect alignment. Line yourself over. If at any point the cushions or ball become too much, yeah, get rid of it, no stress. We're taking an inhale. As we exhale, we're gonna lift and twist to the right, lifting and floating the right leg. So it's gonna look like this. Inhale, we lower down, alternating legs. And release. Doesn't matter how high that leg is, you can even just hover more about the torso than the leg. 
and up and over. Make sure that with every lift, you get that full relax over back from where you came. And return. Last four. Head heavy in hands, no tension in neck. Three more. And release. Now try to get off that ball a little bit, all those cushions, and release. Last one. And release. Lift up and hold it there. You're in your chest lift. Relax shoulders. Let elbows scoop in front of you. Bend one leg. Bend the other leg. We take an inhale. As we exhale, we're going to lift your bum just off the floor. And then inhale, drop it down. So almost thinking of a little tuck and tilt. And then inhale, find your neutral. Let your tailbone reach the floor. Scoop for three. Inhale, we lower. Scoop for four. Keep your knees parallel to your hips and your feet. Scoop for five. Impute bone to nose. Let it go. Scoop up for six. You're still staying lifted in the upper chest. Scoop up for seven. I hope your tummy's burning like mine. And tuck tail, flat navel, eight. You've got two more. Can you lift a little bit higher with the chest? Shh. Don't forget your breath. Last one. Shh. And release down. Lift up with your chest. Straighten one leg. Straighten the other leg. Reach your arms forward. And begin to roll all the way up. And reach yourself forward. If knees need to bend here, that's cool. But rather try to get those shoulders down. Almost imagine that you're scooping your shoulder blades out from under you. Take an inhale. As you exhale, we tuck and tail. Find the cushions into the lower back. Reach your arms up and over. Reaching, stretching. Take a breath in. Circling your arms. Exhale, chin to chest. Scoop navel in. Begin to peel up and over. Off your cushions and reach yourself forward. Breathe in. Exhale, tuck tail. Shoulders down. Finding your cushions. Don't stress if they're wiggling and moving. Just get that extension over. As you inhale, circle your arms, drop your chin to your chest, exhale, curl up, and reach forward. Check here that shoulders haven't gone up, draw them down. Three more. Exhale, tuck tail, really scoop your navel down, and then release, extend. You can arch and really open up. Inhale, circle arms, chin to chest, exhale up, you come. And release. Two more. Breathe in, hold. Find that stretch. Exhale, tuck from the lower to the mid, to the upper spine. Lie over your cushies. Inhale, big circle arms. Chin to chest. Roll, peel, re Draw navel up and over. Again, get that feeling that you're rounding over something. You've got one more. And slowly roll yourself down. Good. Reaching arms up and over. Inhale, circle your arms. Chin to chest and stop. Wheel your cushions if you need to, like me. So they're right at your bum and you're gonna roll back to hold it there. Okay, so again, think of that pubic bone tucking under you. You don't want to be sticking your bum out here, but you want to scoop it in. Okay, flattening almost, um, get a little hammock type shape with your tummy there. We're squeezing your inner thighs, you're pushing your lower back into the cushion, we inhale. Exhale, one arm lifts and you look towards that side. So we go and return, keep rounding your spine, two, and return, twist, rotate, three, and release, twist, rotate, four, keep rounding, tucking, push back into cushions, six, you've got two more to go, and release, I lied, let's do three, and release, last two, and tuck, press back into cushions a little bit more, back you come, Deep into the cushion and then slowly roll up and sit. Very nice. We'll give those abdominals a five second break. Not longer than that though. We're going to come lie down onto our back and you're going to grab your cushion or your ball. So I'm just going to show you what it's going to look like with either in case you have. So if you have your little ball, you're going to pop it just at your sacrum. So you're going to come find a little unstable surface to keep yourself onto there. Just make sure it's not at your lower back. You don't want it to be arching into your back, but get it below almost the top of your bum. If you have your cushions, that's pretty much exactly the same. You've just got a bit of a bigger surface area. But again, you don't want it to be in your lower back, but a little bit lower down. Okay. You can pile them up as much as you want to. You can fold them in half. Just find that your pelvis is a little bit lifted off the floor and it's a little bit wiggy because of the unstable surface. 
You draw your arms down by your side, let your palms scoop up, collarbones are nice and open, and nod your chin. If you feel you need something underneath your head to get a nice elongated neck, pop it there, or even just flip and fold your mat over a little bit, just to give you a little bit more puff. We hold the onto our abdominals as we float one leg up to 90, and the other leg is going to come meet it. Adjust your pants if you need to, like me. Okay, making sure here that you're not arching your back, but really keep pressing your tummy down into your cushion or ball and hold it there. Inhale. Exhale, right leg is going to tip down just to tap the floor. Inhale, it returns back up. Same leg, we tip down. And return. Nothing moves in your lower abdominals. Hold them there as you hinge the leg down. And return. We've got three more. Make sure here that you're not just bending your knee and tapping down, but you're keeping that 90 degree position. It's just hinging that shape. And return. Good work. Last two. Keep the shoulders and neck relaxed. Last one. To the other side straight away. We go press lower spine into ball or cushion. We tip. Again, make sure you're not just bending your knee down, but you're taking your foot almost away from you, and you'll get that right feel into the lower tummy. And we tip and inhale, shoulders relax, nod the chin. Four more and release. And tip three, holding on, inhale, last two, breathe in, last one, and back. Flex your feet. Perfect tabletop, draw tummy down, press it into the cushion ball a little bit more. We're going to repeat that movement, we're going to alternate legs, and then your heel is now going to touch the floor. So we inhale, exhale, we tap, change, change, three, hold tummy, four, push into ball, five, change, six, shoulders relax, seven, and eight, tummy in, nine, and ten, a little bit quicker, ten. Seven, six, take your heel away from you a little bit. Five more, four more, three more, two more, one more. Lift both legs up, point your feet. Tuck your tail a little bit more into your ball. Hold on to tummy muscles. It should be working really hard. We take an inhale. Exhale, one leg at a time. I'm going to do the one closest to you to show you. It's going to open out to the side and it's going to come back in. The opposite leg will not move one inch. So breath in, let's repeat that same side. We open out. Shh. Inhale, controls in. Hold on to your opposite hip and make sure it's not moving at all. And your leg is only opening so far as you can control the pelvis to stay still. And return. We're on the same side. We've got three more. Shh. And return. Holding on the opposite tummy muscle as you open and return. Almost imagine like the page in a book. Opening, return, last one, open, we go straight to the other side, hand on opposite hips, you want to feel that it's not shifting, we open, and back, no movement in the stable leg, two, and return, check in, is tummy still drawing down to spine, three, inhale, return, open for four, breath in, you've got two more, and tummy draws down, last one, and return. Breath in, tummy in. We go for single leg stretch. Right leg first to 45. We change. Change. Two. Change. Three. Change. Four. Don't go past 90 degrees. Just to that point. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. Quick ones. We go for ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Hold tummy in. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more. Both knees in. And then hug your knees into your chest. Good work. So really aiming there for your lower abdominals to be holding and supporting. And you'll definitely feel your hip flexors working into that one. So you're still on your cushions or ball. So it's giving you a little bit of height. Let's hug our right knee into our chest and let your left leg just hang down. So this is hopefully giving you a little bit of height. So you've got a bit of a, a stretch happening in the front of the hip flex on the left here. And you can hug the opposite knee into your chest to get that sort of opposing force in opposite directions. Taking a nice deep inhale, fill in the lungs. And exhale. Deep breath in. And exhale out, hugging the into chest a little bit more. Last one. Should feel really nice. This release after hip flexor work. And release. With control, we gently change in sides, hugging left knee in, then right leg just flop out. 
should feel really nice, especially if you have a little bit more height that you've got your leg, gravity is pulling your leg really nicely down in the opposite direction. But just finding that stretch in the front of the thigh, hugging the opposite knee into chest, let the shoulders relax, nod your chin in. Breath in. Exhale. Last one, breath in. And exhale. Good work. Lo um, extend that straight leg, that other leg long to match the other. Stretch your arms up, give us on the final arch, stretch, breath in, and exhale it all out, drawing this down, bending one leg, bending the other leg, lift the bum, and you're going to get rid of your cushions. Okay, one more round into those legs and those abdominals, and then we'll move around, I promise. So your hamstring length here will make a difference. So we're going to extend our legs up to the ceiling, one and then the other. If it's too much here, you can bend your knees slightly. That's absolutely fine. Just go as far as you feel comfortable. Just make sure if your knees are bent, that you're not conking your knees in, so you don't want to look too much like that, but still keep your legs parallel as you would be if you were lying down. Okay, so our legs are up. Again, our, not, our chin is knotted, and our shoulders are relaxed. We're going to turn our legs out now. So you turn them out from the hip, almost think of that rotation happening. And you're going to cross your right leg over your left. Okay. So we're going to do a little beat. So our right leg's over our left. I'm just showing you with my arms what we're going to do. We're going to beat left over, right over, open your legs as wide as you can. We go left over, right over, open knees wide, or legs wide. We go. Inhale, open. Keep alternating. Swap, swap and open. Hold on tummy and open. Doesn't matter if your legs are small, uh, or small, or bent. And so it doesn't matter if your legs are small either. Swap, swap, and open. And off we go. We've got five more. And open. And four more. And open. If you can straighten your legs, really get that extension. Open, last two. And open, last one. Open and hold. Reaching your arms forward, we take an inhale, up you come into your chest lift. We go in for little pulses, reaching forward. 10, 9, so it's pulling your fingertips forward. 7, 6, 5, heavy legs. 4, 3, probably kicking your couch, that's cool. 1, relax yourself down, Just bring your legs together. We've got one more round, we repeat. So, one leg in front of the other, doesn't matter which one, we alternate, we go. Change, change, open. And open. And open. Use your breath. Press your lower back into the mats. Four more. Change, change, open. Three more. Hello, inner thighs. Hello, hip flexors. Last one. Open. Reach your arms forward. Flatten your navel. We pulse. Ten, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I lied. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, five more, four more, three more, two more, one more. Close your legs with control and then hug your knees into your chest and feel sorry for yourself rocking side to side. Taking a nice deep inhale, filling the lungs and exhale. One more inhale and exhale. Okay, one more exercise on our back here. Um, I want you to have a quick look at me, just because when you are in the position, you really don't want to move your neck. We're gonna go into a little roll over. If this is too much for you, so I'll show you the, the modification first. If it's too much for you, feel free to just do a few pelvic curls, rolling your spine up and down from neutral and up. That's absolutely fine. If you want to try a roll over, I'm gonna show you where it's at, but just have a look now because it's really important you don't move your neck while you're in that position. So, our legs are going to be out into our, 40, uh, into our 90 degree position. We're going to extend our legs out to 45. We're going to lift our legs up to 90. We're going to use our tummy muscles to pull our legs over into our rollover. So this is where I don't want you to look left and right. You're going to flex your feet, open your feet about mat width the part. If they can tap down, let them do so, that's great. And then using your arms for breaks, you're going to slowly roll down circling your legs around to come find that 45 degree once more. Okay, so I'll talk you through as we go, but just really when your legs are over, if you are up and over, just do not look side to side. You can hurt your neck that way. Okay, we're going to go for five. 
If you're just in your pelvic curl, go for it, that's cool. Really get that feeling in the roll over, that your tummy muscles are pulling your legs over and try to use as little momentum as you can. So we're into our tabletop. Check in with shoulders, check in with neck, make sure everything in the upper torso is relaxed. Inhale, we straighten legs out to 45. Sorry, inhale, we bring our legs up to 90, apologies. As you exhale, we use tummy to roll over, doesn't matter how straight or over your legs are. Inhale to separate our legs, flex your feet, and exhale, use your hands as brakes as you control the tummy to roll down and circle to return. Sorry, my bad breath. Inhale, up to 90. Exhale, we go over. Inhale, flex and open. And exhale to slowly roll down, finding that control to roll and release. Three more to go. Inhale to 90. Exhale, take muscle tuck so much that you have to pull over. Inhale, flex feet, separate toes. If they can drop, do so. And then begin to roll all the way down. Don't let your shoulders roll forward. And circle, we've got two more. Inhale. Exhale, tuck and scoop and reach over. Find that stretch. Flex feet, separate feet. Don't move your neck. As you roll down, tummy in, tummy in, tummy in, tummy in, tummy in. And circle down, you've got last one. Inhale to 90. Exhale, tuck tail, scoop legs up and over. If you'd like to stay here for a moment, do so. You can flex your feet and find that stretch for three breaths. If not, rather just roll down and relax, no stress. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale, one more few here. Inhale, and shoulders relax, tuck your tail, control that movement of your tummy for three, for two, for one, big circle to find your 45. Bend your knees in and hug the neck. Well done. It's one of those exercises that you build up to in Pilates, so no stress if you felt a bit silly rolling over, you didn't manage to get there. It's also really dependent on your flexibility, especially in your upper back and in your hamstrings as well. So sometimes it's not even strength that you're struggling with, but it could be flexibility that's um, limiting you getting there. Okay, so we're going to work into our sides a little bit. So again, let me show you ball first if you do have. You're gonna pop it sort of at your rib cage and you're gonna lie yourself down with your arm like so. Okay, if you don't have that, you've got your cushions and no stress. Try to get quite a significant little puff so that your body is lying over. We in the same position. Okay, so your top leg is gonna be straight. Your bottom leg is gonna be bent. Check here that your hips are on top of one another. You don't want your hips to drop back. So imagine you've almost got a little um, light shining out your hip bones here. And you want both of them to face forward at all times. Your head is supported by your elbow. Make sure, or by your arm, make sure your elbow's not too far back behind you, but scoop it almost a little bit in front of you so you're supported there. Still draw navel to spine. You've got a little bit of support and the side, but don't just collapse into it. Still, be, uh, still lift right up off of it or get the feeling of lifting right up off of it. Your arm is reaching down on your side here. We take an inhale. As we exhale, we're going to slide up to find a little side bend, lifting elbow off. Inhale, we slowly lower, shortening into the side. We lift up for two. <sighs> inhale, up and over, we release. And we lift up for three. Inhale, we lower. Not a big movement. You shouldn't be coming up too high. Likely it means something's cheating. Release. Just find that little shorten. <sighs> And release. And lift up four. And release. You shouldn't feel in your lower back if you do tuck your tail. So push your bone forward a little bit. And release. Four more to go. And head still heavy in hand. Last three. And release. Last two. Into a bleed. Draw navel in. It's nice and warm. Last one. Lift up. Hold it there. Good. Staying lifted in your arm, staying lifted in your body. If it's too much, you can always lower your elbow. Otherwise, keep it up. We lift our leg up. We go. And lower. For two. Release. Tummy ribs in. Three. Hips not swaying out. Keep it stacked. And five. Well done. Lift a little bit more. Six. Two more. Seven. Last one. Lift. Hold. Tummy in. Ribs in. We lift arm up. And tap on leg. Two, eye lines forward for three. Check that your shoulder is not going up as you lift. Keep it drawing down. And six, two more. 
and seven. Last one, lift up eight, hold it there. Heel lift everything higher, body, leg, and slowly release down, stay this side. Okay, like I said, you shouldn't feel too much in your lower back. If that's the case, tuck your tail, so really push your pubic bone forward. You should feel a bit more into your obliques and your side slam. Okay, same side, arms reaching up. Check here again that that shoulder's not dropping into your ear, but draw it down. Almost imagine sort of pulling your arm up to the ceiling, and you'll get that right sort of feel. If this is, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. If it's too much, you can get, continue with what we did previously and just lift the leg and lift the body. That's absolutely fine. Otherwise, where we're going is we're going to bend this top leg, bending and bringing your elbow in towards your leg, and then slowly coming back. Your pelvis will rock a little bit here. That's fine. Breath in. Exhale, you bend up. Elbow into leg and lower down. And bend elbow into leg two and return. So shortening into tummy sides, press a little bit into it and release. And tummy in four. Nice and slow and irritating. Four more. And release. Last three, you will rock back slightly. That's fine. Release. Don't roll off your cushions or ball. Two more. And release. Last one. Shocking. We're going to hold it there. Try to press your leg into your elbow, your elbow into your leg. Deep and lift in there for five, four, tummy in three. Two, one, and release. Straighten both your arms. Extend and reach over. You're going to grab your top wrist with your bottom hand and give it a nice pull and tug. This should feel really nice after that. Shortening the sides and elongating and lengthening it. We're taking three breaths. Try to breathe into this top rib cage. So expand into it as you inhale. And exhale. Breathe in. Exhale, last one, breathe in, and exhale. Slowly coming up with your hands, supporting yourself. Before we turn over to the other side, we're gonna come onto our forearms and our hands, oh, arms and our body, tucking your toes under, okay. So we've got a little challenge here, I did it in my last class, so hopefully people have been building up for one of my previous classes, you can see where you're getting to. So your toes are tucked under. We're not sinking in shoulders, but pressing out of shoulders and elbows right under hips. So you've got two options here. Option one, stay, or three options. Option one, stay here for a nice stretch. Then you're drawing your shoulders down, opening your chest out. Option two, you're gonna tuck into your tummy, come up straight away into your forearm plank, and we're gonna lower down to do five of those. If you're feeling nice and proficient in those, you're gonna untuck your toes, and we're gonna do the same thing, but coming onto the tops of the feet, and then lowering yourself down. Okay, really think of scooping up in your tummy, almost like someone's punching you into your tummy, and you'll get the right idea. Everyone roll your shoulders back, nod your chin slightly, toes tucked or untucked, or stay there in the stretch, we inhale. Exhale, we press up into forearm plank. Inhale, we lower down, open chest, open shoulders. Lifting up for two, and release, open. Lifting up, push three, tummy up. And we lower, we've got two more. Just as important as the plank, as important as the lower and shoulders open. Last one, hold it there for five, for four, three, two, one, lower down. Rolling onto the other side. I'm gonna come on this side so you can see me. And we're setting ourselves up for our sides on the other side. Okay. So just wiggling about as you need to until you found your appropriate pillow position or ball position. Your top leg is extended, your bottom leg is bent. Make sure hips are stacked, you're not rolling open or closing or rounding. Head is supported by the hand, make sure elbow not too far back, but scoop it forward just in front of your shoulder and you'll get the right idea. Top hand is on the leg, everything's in one straight stripe, tummy in, ribs connected, we inhale. Small little side bend, lifting elbow up we go. And release. Lift up two. And release. Won't be a big movement, remember. For three, really tightening it. You can feel what's working into that beak. For four. And we release. And release. Lift up six. We've got two more to go. Seven. And release. Last one. Hold it there. Breath in. We lift the leg up. If it's too much, pop the elbow down. Otherwise, keeping it up, we lift leg up. 
shh, and lower. Tummy in two, release, holding here, three. Can you lift a little higher, go for it, four. Head in hand, five, three more to go. Last one, hold it there, lift a little higher, tummy in, tuck your tail a little bit forward, lift your arm up, and we lower down, arm up, two, release, arm up, three, don't drop the body an inch, four, four, four more to go, I promise, tuck your tail, tummy in, three more, shoulder down, especially this top one, don't let it float up, last two, up, release, last one, everyone hold it there, draw shoulder down, lift body up, tummy in, and then relax yourself down and have a momentary half time. Okay, so into our little crunch as we go. So like I said, bearing in mind, you will rock slightly back and forward on your um, cushions, but you don't want to roll too far back like so. Okay, so your arm is reaching up. Face your palm towards me. Let your shoulder roll back. And again, get that feeling you're not crunching up here, but almost like someone's pulling your arm up to the ceiling and you'll get that nice length in your arm. Okay, we take an inhale. As we exhale, we're crunching up and pressing elbow into leg here. Inhale, we lower back down for two. <sighs> inhale, let your head follow your arm. <sighs> and release. And for four, crunching in. And release. Press five. Inhale, shoulder stays down for six. And really get that press elbow to leg, leg to elbow. Seven, you've got one more. Last one, eight, hold it there. Press in, press in, press in for five, four, tummy in, three, two, one, and release. Whew, I'm pooped. Okay, so now we're gonna grab top wrist with bottom hand. Give it a nice tug. Don't worry about your shoulders in this direction or in this movement. Feel that your hands are being pulled in one direction, your leg in another, and almost being able to spanning and opening this gap as much as you can. Breath into that top rib cage, and exhale. Two more, and exhale. Last one, breath in, and exhale. Slowly release our arms down, coming onto your tum, and we're gonna release our cushions or ball to the side. Okay, so into another little challenge we go. So again, your toes can be untucked or tucked. We're gonna do five. Thereafter, we're gonna add something on top. So if you're feeling like that's really too much, maybe do it with your toes tucked. Okay, so take a nice deep breath in. Draw and roll the shoulders down. Make sure chin's not poking out. Tuck it in and lengthen the back of the neck. Inhale, tummy draws up, we lift. And we lower down, shoulders open. Lift up for two. And release open. Finding that little bit of extension in the spine as you draw your lats down here. Two more. And return. Last one. We're going to come up. If your toes are untucked, tuck them. Everyone's coming to find me into this plank. Make sure bums are up. Tuck and scoop it down. Take a breath in. One arm's up. Other arm's up. And we're coming into our plank. Breath in. We're going into five little push-ups. They're teeny-weeny. Elbows out to side, press up, for two, press up, chin in, three, they can be a centimeter, two more, press up, last one, down, press up, lower one knee, lower the other knee, and press back into your rest position, well done. Let your shoulders just relax, relax your elbows down to the mat, it will relax your shoulders, and gently just roll your head side to side on your forehead, releasing your neck. Coming back into center, slowly begin to roll all the way up to come sit onto your heels. If this is really uncomfortable for your knees or it's hurting, you can use your hand cushies to come give you a little bit more height so you're not so crunched in the knees or onto the feet. So that's an option for you should you wish to use it. Okay, otherwise we're staying where we are over here. Let's take the left arm behind the back and grab it with the right wrist. You're going to pull it down, and then you're going to drop the right ear to the right shoulder, feeling a nice stretch and elongation into that left side. Check here that left shoulder's not rolling forward. Roll it back and down. We take an inhale, 
as you exhale, try to pull the left arm a little bit more down, drop the right side to shoulder a little bit more. One more break like this. And exhale. Drop your chin down to your chest. Interlace your hands behind your back and stretch them if you're able to and lift them all the way up as far as you can. Breathe in. Exhale. Breathe in. And exhale. Slowly lower and relax your arms. Rolling your left ear towards your chest, uh, left ear towards your left shoulder. You're now grabbing right wrist with left hand and pulling it down. So you're swapping to the other side. Roll that right shoulder back. Make sure it's not rounding forward. And just let your head be heavy to the side. Breath in. Exhale out. Last one. Breath in. And exhale out. Roll your chin past your chest. Coming back to center. Interlacing hands. Stretching out. Let your head be heavy. Breath in. Exhale out. Last one. And exhale. Slowly releasing your hands down. We can try quite a weird stretch, but it feels really, really good if you can get into it. So, so bear with me. Um, you're going to put a bit of weight onto the top of your head. If you, your mat's quite skinny, just give it a little fold over. If you want to peep and look at me for a sec, I'll show you where we're going so you can have an idea. So you're going to rock yourself forward like so. So really the top of your head is on the mat. So you're not putting too much pressure there. You're then going to grab onto your heels. So you might need to come back a little bit for me, for instance. And from there, you're going to hold tight on your heels and rock your body forward. You'll feel a really nice stretch between the shoulder blades. And from there, we're going to rock back and forward, probably an inch or so. So it's not a big movement. But see if you can get into it. If it's too much, just find your, um, your little shell stretch or your child's pose, no stress. Okay, so tipping ourselves forward, nod your chin in so you're really on the crown of the head. Drop your bum so much so that you can grab your heels. Really hug your heels, so hold on absolutely tight. From there, keep that heel um, connection and just press yourself forward onto the crown of your head a little bit more. Breath in and exhale. Breath in, should feel really nice straight between shoulder blades. Exhale, one more. Push a little bit forward and exhale. Slowly rolling up, letting the head just Rush away from the blood, just rush away from the head, sitting nice and tall. Bring the right hand to the outer corner, outer side of the left leg, soak your left hand behind. Doesn't matter if it doesn't reach the floor, take a nice deep breath in and exhale to twist. Try to people over left shoulder, inhale and exhale, twist from the rib cage. Slowly coming back to center, changing to the other side, left hand outer portion of right leg, right hand behind you. You can even just hold on your back here if you don't reach the floor. Otherwise, we inhale, exhale, twist. One more. And exhale, twist. Coming back to center, we're going into our weird, wonderful stretch again this time. You try and hold onto your heels first this time. Nod your chin, drop your head onto the mat, and then pull yourself forward. So don't be afraid to push. Body forward and pull on feet for two breaths. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale, shoulders stay heavy and exhale. Slowly lowering yourself back down. Doesn't matter if your cushions are there or not. We twist again. Right hand outside, left leg. Left hand behind. We inhale. Shoulders draw down. Exhale, twist. One more. And exhale, twist. Changing sides, crossing over left, reaching back behind right. Inhale, grow tall. And exhale, twist. Last one. And exhale, twist. Coming back to center and sitting onto your bum and swinging your legs in front of you. Okay, last little challenge here. Okay, so we're going into our um, a little bit of a back extension. So you're gonna cross your right leg over and you're gonna lean yourself back almost like you're on the beach. Everyone sink into shoulders, so kind of what not to do. And you're gonna now lift out of your shoulders. So almost imagine someone's pulling your sternum forward. We've only got five on the side and five with the other leg on top, so make them count. Roll shoulders back, your eye line straight forward, don't drop your chin up as you lift. We inhale. Exhale, we lift our bum straight up. 
Inhale, it lowers down. Don't round your shoulders forward. Lift up for two. Inhale, we lower. Super challenging, widen your arms. Lift up three. And we lower. Two more. And release. One more. And release. Roll shoulders back. Squeeze the shoulder blades slightly. Changing legs. Breath in. Off we go. Last round. And we lower. Keep chest open. Two. Keep chest open. Lower. And three. Squeeze your tush. And release. Last two. And release. Sweep up as hard as you can. Lift. Hold it there for a moment. And slowly lower it down. Good job. Grabbing your cushions or grabbing your ball for one more one. Remember, maybe use the ball this time so everyone can see the difference. We're coming back full circle to where we started. So align yourself with ball either between shoulder blades, a little bit high if it's comfy, letting your head just rest out. Letting your soles of your feet come together, knees flop out, and your arms are out into a little T position. Imagine again, you're just splatting yourself out. Don't worry about the ribs, let them flare. Almost think of melting and opening yourself over the ball or the cushions. Or the cushions. Squeeze the soles of your feet together. We take three breaths, nodding your chin. And exhale it all out. Two more. Inhale, think of expanding everything in the front. And then exhale, draw it back. Do not put any tension in the shoulders. Last one, breath in. And exhale. Straighten up one leg. The other leg, if you'd like to, bend your arms into a little cactus position. Take an inhale. We've got three more. Inhale. Exhale. Shoulders heavy. Nod the chin. Don't have any tension. Gather in your neck. Breath in. And exhale. Last one. Breath in. And exhale. Just flop there for a moment. Just let your, let your legs fall out. Your arms can straighten or bend. Imagine your torso being as heavy as you can into the ball or cushions. Let your tailbone be as heavy as it can into the mat. Gently, maybe just nodding or oh, arms or looking left to right with the neck, so just releasing into the neck. Coming, find, coming to find center. We've got two breaths. Breath in. Hold it there. Keep it in, keep it in, keep it in. Breathe in a little bit more. And exhale it all out. Just relaxing your body completely. One more breath. Inhale through the nose. Hold it there. Deepen a little bit more, a little more sip, another little sip. Hold it there. And then as you exhale, relax the body completely. Make your body as heavy as you can, just melting in the floor. Gently just begin to wiggle your toes, waking up, opening your eyes. Take one more final inhale and exhale, release. Lowering your arms down. Nodding your chin or whatever you need to to come sit up. And well done, everybody. That is you. Thank you so much for joining us today. And yeah, Thank I hope to see much. you soon. Thank you. Thanks, Mix. You're welcome, everyone. Well done and have a beautiful, beautiful evening. Thanks, Thanks Mix. Thank you, Mix. Well done, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Sunny. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye, my crony. Cool. Bye, Megal. Thanks. Bye, so my crony. Thank you. So good. Did you have a good birthday? <laughs> oh, it was amazing. Jeez. Good. Felt so spoiled. Gosh, and I was expecting it to be the biggest non-event ever. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad. Yay. So oh, much. sending lots of love. Yeah, you too. Have a good cool. evening. You too. Bye. Bye, Jasmine. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Meg. I love Bye. using my ball. This is awesome. <laughs> hey. Cool. Peace. Probably harder with the ball, so well done. Thanks. Yeah, no, it, was, it was great. Thank you. Cool. You feeling okay? Yeah. Great. Well done, Jasmine. Yeah. Good, thanks. Cool. cool. Check you later. Yeah. Have a good evening, everyone. Bye. Bye bye.